Wisconsin, we're just a few hours away from 2023. And while the clock hasn't struck midnight just yet, it's still been a full day of celebrations at the Capitol Square and on State Street. Our Captain Mark takes us to one celebration that had those clocks set a little early so that the whole family could celebrate. At the Madison Children's Museum, they're ringing in the new year a few hours earlier so that everybody in the family can enjoy it. New Year's Eve party for many years and it's very popular with families. Noon Year's Eve was just the first of the celebrations on the Capitol Square. You know, if parents have plans for later, they want to get their kids out and active during the day um, or they want to get the kids active and cheering down the countdown to midnight, but then be able to have a, a quieter evening at home. This isn't all that's to come this evening. Well, the good news is that variety is really the definition of what's going on in downtown Madison over New Year's Eve and even over the weekend in some places. The Madison Central Business Improvement District says the rest of the night, downtown Madison's restaurants and bars will have a lot to offer for the holiday. There's stuff for the kids to do and families and for adults of all ages, young and old. And for these kiddos, New Year's Eve means a dance party and a juice toast. But for the people in Madison, these celebrations say so much about what our downtown has to offer. The, the character of State Street is just so unique and the square. Uh, we want to keep it that way. As for the adults who might be trying to head to the Capitol Square or State Street on New Year's Eve, earlier this week I spoke to the Madison Police Department about extra safety measures they're taking this evening. It told me they're going to have about 30 extra officers patrolling the area to respond to concerns if they come up. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now.